Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, Kim Jong Un, Kim Jong Un, Kim Jong Doom. Yes, he has taken another U.S. citizen. Yes, he has. Once again, he's ratcheting up the rhetoric. This is now four U.S. citizens that have recently been detained by North Korea. North Korea said yesterday that it has detained another U.S. citizen on suspicion of hostile acts. Come on, the only hostile acts going on is Kim Jong-un. I mean, he fed his uncle to a cage full of 120 hungry hound dogs to be eaten alive, assassinated his aunt, had his ex-girlfriend killed, murdered his cousins, had his half-brother poisoned to death in Malaysia with rubbing some kind of radiation cream in his face, lines people up and shoots them, murders Christians, and here's what I'm finding out. This is another American citizen. He's a professor from an evangelical Christian college. Now, it's actually not a Christian college, but the evangelical Christians of America founded this college for research for North Korean's government. And so now two of the four American citizens being detained are both evangelical Christians. This one's a professor. They're, these people haven't done anything wrong. Okay, this is just flat out uh, Kim Jong-un taking Americans hostage and then going to negotiate and try to get some high-level uh, personnel, maybe a former president, maybe somebody high-ranking to go in there and meet with him, and then he'll give up these Americans for so much cash and prestige and make the great America bow once again to him. I'm just not so sure Trump is into that. Trump may go himself. I mean, Donald Trump's the kind of guy, he's already said, let's have a meeting, so maybe Trump goes in there and, uh, and gets his kid in a headlock. Maybe gives him a haircut. Maybe they both get a haircut. I mean, I, <laughs> but I'm just saying, Trump is really a different kind of a, uh, of a situation, and he is getting tired. He's tired of the games. Well, Kim Hak Song, who worked for the North Korean University, excuse me, of science and technology was detained uh, Saturday and we just got confirmation of it yesterday. Uh, a relevant institution of North Korea detained American citizen Kim Hak Song um, on Saturday under a law of suspicion of his hostile acts against the North Korean government uh, and the Democratic People's Republic of Korea. Now, a third U.S. citizen, Kim Sang-dak, was associated with at the same school, was detained in late April and accused of the same hostile acts from the same school. The U.S. State Department said it is aware of these latest reports of detention and the security of the United States citizen is one of the department's highest priorities. When a U.S. citizen is reported to be detained in North Korea, we work with the Swedish embassy in North Korea, uh, the State Department official said in an emailed statement, declining to provide further details for privacy uh, reasons. But the reported detention comes as tensions on the North Korean pen peninsula is running very high, driven by harsh rhetoric from Kim Jong-un and of Washington over the North Korea's pursuit of nuclear weapons in response to what it says is a threat of U.S. instigated war. Like, we're instigating a war. We don't want to. Are you serious, Kim Jong-un? Anyway, Kim Jong-doom and the North Korean University of Science and Technology was founded by evangelical Christians and opened back in 2010. Its students are generally children of the country's elite. So the volunteer faculty of this university, many of whom are evangelical Christians, has a curriculum that includes subjects once considered taboo in North Korea, such as capitalism. 
The college is unlikely fit in a country that has been condemned by the United States for cracking down on the freedom of religion. So you see the hypocrisy of Kim Jong-un. I mean, he is just such a hypocrite. He don't even believe in his own communistic ways. He is just a dictator, a third-generation demon of oppression upon an entire nation. And he'll kill people at will to retain power and to threaten the world. And he's working close with the Iranians to help put together both nations working together to establish nuclear power. Iran for the Middle East, North Korea for the, for the uh, Pacific. So it's a dangerous time. We need to pray for these people, Americans being held. Obviously, they're innocent. We need to really pray. Folks, we're living in a time I never thought I would ever see, but we see it. Are you serious? Pray one for another. We're living in the last days. Pray we get these folks out of here. Pray that President Donald Trump, uh, that he gets the right wisdom on how to handle the situation. 